Hi folks, I'm Josh and welcome back to Valhalla! Dorothy's here! So let's hang out and chat to the, the android sex worker. See what is up. Um, oh, and she just made one of those cheesy sitcom entrances. It's like, bah, 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 Dorothy's here! Bah, 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 yeah, woo! Yeah. And the audience went wild. You know the audience would have gone wild for that one? Exactly! And besides, you make it sound like you have a full house. <clears throat> It's not uncommon to see you two here, uh, here two days in a row. I wanted to grab something before I started my shift. <coughs> Woo! I had peanut butter sandwich in between this and the last episode. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> grab something before they start grabbing me, you could say. Hey, you're having a drink? Can I buy you one? Why, yes! Thank you! Honey, you should follow her example and offer me drinks more often. <laughs> Let's see. We haven't. I have what she's having. Say, just make your own mind up. Oh dear. Anyway, then I think I'll have the perfect thing. Let's have a blue fairy. One for both. One for each. All right. Two blue fairies are due. A blue due fairy. Ah, I didn't even notice this one. Okay. I want. <laughs> uh, make your teeth turn blue, eh? There was a, a drink called a zombie when I was at university. I don't know if it's still around. It probably is. It's just lots of different types of alcohol, and it's very, very sweet, and it get, gets you e easily drunk, basically. Um, I really... Next. Um... I really didn't like them, but I quite enjoyed watching other people have them because their whole face just went blue. If if they splashed it on anything, went blue. I don't know what it was. Maybe it was just like the, I think it was, uh, what's it called? Sours? Apple sours or whatever in it? We didn't say anything again. Come on, keep with it, Josh. This is a very simple operation. Everyone get drunk. Drunk, 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 drunk. Boom. Tick tock. Kablam. Two fairies! Haha! <laughs> you two fairies. That no, that's that's a rude word for um gay people, fairies. Last time I last time I heard the word used, someone was being rude about a gay person. <laughs> but fairies are magical! And it's blue like your hair! Oh yeah! So it is! So what's your name, sweetie? Call me Say. Alright, Say, I'm Dorothy. Yay, they know each other now. Oh, it's like that. The two groups of friends you have, or if you've ever had this, like two groups of friends. Say, say. Yes, yes. <laughs> say, say. Say, say. <laughs> say, why did you just buy me a drink? I just thought you were cute as a button and wanted to invite me to join you. Oh, say, so cute. These two together, cute patrol on duty. Uh, <laughs> Well, you have to be the first person to offer me a drink when having an ulterior motive. And that includes fuckboy over there. What? Really? Jillian. Naughty. <laughs> yeah, he's embarrassed. What do you mean? Trust me, when you work in my kind of field, you learn to read cues from everything. And this girl's simple to a fault. How so? You're what, uh, you're the what you see is what you get type. That look on your face is one of the simple, simply sees no point in lying. Oh, coupled with the fact you're here in what looks like your work attire tells me that you're not married to your job, that sex is too far, that you're so married to your job that sex is too far down your priority list to notice its existence. Oh no, I couldn't. Nah, 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 man. Hi, that that list is very long. Sex is on it quite. It's like food and maybe one or two other things. Then sex, food, sex, sleep. I am a simple man of simple pleasures. Uh, pleasure is what it's all about. Anyway, so if you wouldn't, uh, you invited me a drink, a drink because you found me cute, and that's the extent of it. I believe you. Thank you. But I want to fuck your brains out. <laughs> you say she's the first one, but what about Deal giving you a ticket the other day? 
Who? Oh yeah, the linen with the dogs. No, he doesn't count. You look like a humanoid mat. He looked like a humanoid mat. Ouch. You seem very perceptive, Dorothy, but I'm not too far behind. How so? I can tell your body is heavily modded with the things you shouldn't even have. Uh-oh. Your tongue is, uh, Beb six uh, <laughs> DNA scanning capabilities, eh? Your skin is coated with anti-radiation finish? Your joints are of the premium extra flexible variety. And the most important thing, your hands. I mean, hands are good, but... How can you... What about them? I don't know how modern your body is under your clothes, but the tongue, joints, and skin are merely interesting. But your hands are the mirrored merde of realata industries. Secretly Italian. A model designed to shoot class 5 bullets from his fingertips. Holy shit. So, so. Clause G of Article 17 in the Augmentation Modification Law at the top of the Ballistic Augmentations. Any humanoid and sabin creature under civilian designation that has upgraded any of his person to hold firearms of class 3 grade or higher will be either commissioned for disarmament or sent to danger zones. Holy shit. Danger zone! Gonna take a ride into the danger zone. I'm not in law enforcement. I just do rescue. And even if I was, they're not in duty right now. Oh. I want to know though, why go, why go through with the upgrade? A girl's got to take care of herself, you know? I want to be able to deal with things if they get ugly, and this is the most discreet mod I had. Oh, at least I thought so. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay then, can I give you some advice? I guess. The reason I could tell it's not your default hand model is your fingertips. The tips are a little bigger to make the cannons fit. You can get small, a small mod that changes them into disposable tips. Assuming they're being used for self-defense and not regular use, of course. I see. Hmm. Well, I gotta go. Ah, yes. Another thing. If you aim for the arms or legs, once uh, once is self-defense. Anything more is assault. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> by Dorothy, by Jill. Ah, oh, she's so sweet. She's like, you broke the law. Slap on wrist. Here's how you can avoid breaking the law visibly. Oh dear. Bye bye. Please come again. Oh no, I thought she was gonna take me away. Oh, calm down. She's fine. She's lovely. They would put my mind on a vacuum cleaner for three years. What? Two if I behave well. That's what happens when you underestimate people. Although I'm tempted to ask about what? DNA reading tongue. Very prehensile, intuitive. Also, it vibrates! <laughs> no wonder it's the 69 edition. <laughs> Why would it need to... Uh, extra flexible... Do you really need to ask? Anti-radiation coating is... You're not, like, going into war zones and, and having a shag, are you? Hey, my skin's my first tool of the trade. I need to take care of it as much as possible. And it makes me... F it feels so soft no matter how much it's been battered. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm guessing it wasn't like a... I, I go into nuclear ra ra nuclear radiators, nuclear power plants, and, and give people a, a good old... Wait, it's that one, isn't it? <laughs> All right, then. Oh, no, you wouldn't want to do that because they've got bullets in your fingertips. <laughs> Gotta be very careful where you point that stuff. Uh, so you fancy yourself a diviner, reading people and all? Not really, I'm just quite good at reading people. I guess it's a byproduct of dealing with so many people on a daily basis. It's a bit surreal to hear that from a Lilim. What can you say about me then? Let's see. Mm. You're very, very, very sexually frustrated. I can help you with that. Don't know where that voice was. It's not the act itself, but rather your partners can't seem to satisfy you on a deeper level. When you say deeper, there's an even deeper frustration. Something happened that's blocking you. Maybe there's someone who you know who won't turn your feelings. Maybe you were hurt in the past. That's your demeanor is that of someone who feels like life's playing tricks on her. Like a dog who is owner never really throws a ball. <laughs> there was talk of throwing a bone into me. <laughs> oh boy, did I actually hit the nail in the head? I was making this stuff on the fly. All of that was just rubbish, I say, because it's right 80% of the time. 
generic bullshit, if you will. You'd be surprised at the amount of sexual frustration people hold. I can't read you, honey. You're too good at putting up a professional face. But it definitely gives me more insight into you. Lucky, licky. Uh, not lucky, licky. Aren't you late or something? I am, but you'd let me satisfy your frustrations. <laughs> I could stall for some time. Go. Fine, fine. Bye bye, honey. Artificial intelligence has come rather far, hasn't it? One wonders how artificial it remains. Shut up, fuckboy! Ha <laughs> Yeah! Everything done? Yeah! Hey boss, this might seem random, but... I remember the first time I came to the bar. When you came to submit your contract? Yeah, why? Well, for some reason I've just been hung up on it since this morning. And I just realised why. The visage the people that welcomed me back was... Jill trying to pull your hand out of a jar. Oh, yeah, that. I can't remember what exactly, but something fell inside and I tried to retrieve it. It was just kind of my hand in and got stuck. If only I had bullets in my fingertips. I keep on doing that now and it's inappropriate. Well, I mean for jar retrieving. Like, if you wanna if you wanna pickle out of a jar. Anyway. Hey Gil, how did you get my hand out of the jar? A straw and some butter. Oh yeah, I have a solution. Yeah, that brings me to the random thought. I answered in the helmet yesterday. How many times your foot got stuck on something for stomping it? Boss, why do you get stuck in so many different things? Hmm. And you mentioned it, I remember this one time she tried to eat a big sandwich and her jaw got stuck. Oh! That was hot. Okay. My brain has made a connection again. So, once upon a time, I was supposed to go to a uh, uh, class. And uh, it was it was lunchtime and it was like an early class and an extra class. But I was like, oh crap, I've got to go, I'm late. And I crammed this orange into my mouth. And it was obviously, I took the skin off first. I'm not some kind of disgusting uh, a barbarian, orange barbarian. But what happened was it just got stuck in the middle of my mouth. I couldn't move my tongue. I couldn't move it like to either side. Uh, and I couldn't chew it because it was just stuck in the middle and it, I couldn't like chew it and squish it down and it took literally an hour and this this was a language class so I had to say things and I couldn't I had to like stick my finger in there and just like oh my god it took so long it was the it was the most painful my tongue has ever been in a very long time anyway then there was an incident with the TV. I'll admit my fault was with the others, but the TV incident was not my fault. The assembly instructions for that stand should have been leveled in the Z and S. Huh? What? You saw what happened when I switched the S2 and the 5Z1? Still, Jill's onto something here. Yeah, she is. Now, go clean the dishes and you can leave for today. I like to think she'll make an effort now to avoid getting stuck in things. I somehow doubt that. I want to believe. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Yay! 25% commission. I only made one mistake. Was that... Was that when I was talking to a cat lady and she was like, Ooh, I want to give you a thingy. Oh damn, I didn't get the floor service. Everything will turn out alright in the end. I got an extra 300 100 monies. So that's good. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you have, then subscribe. Uh, your subscription got renewed. She'll have no problem fo focusing on work to do. Yay! Ah, oh, that's so good. Anyway, if you want to support me as I make videos like this and all sorts of stuff, then I have a Patreon. But until next time, mustache. Orange, you glad I told you that story?